What's going on everybody, this is Brian from SneakerFiles.com, recapping the news from yesterday, like always we post it first on SneakerFiles.com, and then we take it to YouTube. This video we cover quite a few brands, we have New Balance, we have Reebok, Vans, Adidas, Nike, and of course Jordan brand. But the highlights from this video would be a first look at the Adidas Ultra Boost 4.0, as well as a first look at the Air Jordan 11 Gym Red. And I'm sure that 98% are more interested in the Air Jordan 11 Gym Red, but there are some strong supporters of Adidas that are subscribed to this channel. So that's why I make sure to include pretty much everything in this video. But let's jump into the news. For the spring and summer, New Balance is bringing out the CRT 300 Deconstructed in Tan. They feature a one-piece new buck upper, which has perforations on the end branding, as well as on the panels and the toe. Tan covers the uppers, leather on the tongue, and a little bit of suede on the heel. And completing the look is the Rev Light midsole, along with white covering it and the outsole. If anybody's interested, they're available now at Feature. Retail price is 95. The Foot Patrol Reebok Workout Low Plus Black Buck takes inspiration from the Indian Antelope, also known as the Black Buck. Known for their unique two-tone colors, the Black Buck has a dark brown to black upper coat with white underparts and legs. Foot Patrol dresses this pair up in the same theme while having black pigskin new buck across the uppers with pony hair accents on the H-strap panels sitting atop a clean white midsole. Also included is three sets of laces, black, white, and black with a repeat Foot Patrol bar logo print in white. Releasing this Saturday, May 13th in store and online at 8 a.m. BST time. Blends, Peanuts, and Vans are coming together to collaborate on the Vans Vault Skate High reissue zip. Having a premium theme, they feature black tumbled leather across the uppers. The jazz stripe has been transformed into a bone which has white leather detailing. You'll also notice that Snoopy is sitting on top of the branding and on the other side, Woodstock is floating. The collaboration is set to release this Saturday, May 13th at Blinds Beverly Hills, Downtown Los Angeles, Costa Mesa, Larkmont Village, and San Diego locations. An online release will take place on the same day. It looks like Adidas Originals is going to drop a bunch of the Adidas Climacool on May 18th. Now we previewed two yesterday, and I believe one of the pair that's in this photo is actually one that was previewed before, but two of them are new. So one comes in black and white, and the other comes in bright cyan, along with yellow accents. Coming in your standard theme, they feature a full climacool mesh upper providing 360 degrees of breathability, constructed with the shoe structural TPU toe box and midfoot overlays, and a textile lining for a comfortable fit. Like I mentioned, May 18th is the release date, and this should be an easy pickup for anybody that's interested. We officially have our first look at the Adidas Ultra Boost 4.0 in triple white. Previously, we showed you the Adidas Ultra Boost 4.0, or what we believed it to be. However, it turns out that it was a 3.5. The 4.0 features the same three-stripe solid color cage as seen on the 1.0, but it isn't known going forward if the 4.0 will feature solid or translucent hues to it as well. It could be a mixture of both. We also have a new prime knit across the uppers. In areas, it's somewhat similar to the 3.0, but overall, it's fully reconstructed. Almost done in all white, we have of course, white across the uppers, the cage, hill counter, boost midsole, and black is used on the outsole. At the time of shooting this, there isn't a set release date, however, they're expected to drop during December 2017. I'm still waiting to get a pair of the 3.0. The pair I have on now is the 1.0, and these are completely destroyed, and I need something new for the gym, so if anyone has a, a lead on where I can get some decent colorways for retail, Leave a comment below, please. Starting things off with Nike, we have some on-feed images of the Nike Air Max 95 iridescent. Featuring a mixture of mesh and synthetic materials across the base, we have mainly white, but an iridescent finish lands on the panels as well as the toe, which will display shades of purple and teal. With this on-feet look, they have started to land at select Nike sportswear retailers overseas like Titolo, and I believe that select stateside retailers have received them, however I've yet to see them, but retail price will be 160 and expect a wider drop to happen if it hasn't already very, very soon. Also starting to release is the Nike Air Force One Ultra Flyknit Mid Triple White. So this pair features Flyknit across the uppers and we have leather that lands on the back heel, ankle strap, and the Nike swoosh. Done in all white, the shade extends upon the midsole and outsole. I thought I'd share these images as well as the info because they're starting to land at Nike Sportswear retailers. Once again, Titolo is at the head of it. Since the pure money is dropping, just wanted to share this as an alternative possibly because I do believe 
the retail price is a bit lower and a lot of people were saying if I want white on white I'd rather have the Air Force One although this isn't your classic Air Force One it is lightweight and breathable soon Nike Sportswear will release the Nike Flyknit Racer Macaroon Pack and today we have a closer look at two color options one of them is being called Mika Blue featuring a mixture of white Legion Blue and Mika Blue the shades of blue cover the flyknit upper and also lands on the Nike swoosh which is blended into the panels. Completing the look is white on the midsole and black on the outsole. Dropping May 19th along with the rest of the pack, retail price will be $150. Representing pistachio in the macaroon pack is the Nike flyknit racer ghost green. Featuring white, cool gray, and ghost green, the shade of green is used across the flyknit upper while we have cool gray that's blended onto the Nike swoosh. Other details include white on the midsole and black on the outsole. Also dropping May 19th, retail will be $150. Nike Sportswear is releasing another triple black Nike Air Vapor Max. The first drop was a collaboration with Como de Garcons and the second released on Air Max Day. Not much to talk about as far as the look, they feature all black with some anthracite hinted on the flyknit upper and even the visible bubble unit that is done in all black as well. Overall, these are dope and I hope that they're a GR because I missed out when they dropped on Air Max Day and I really don't see much difference. I mean, maybe in hand it might be slightly, but dropping June 20th, retail will be 190. Since I have the Nike Kobe AD big stage in hand, I haven't uploaded a review of them yet, but I did take some photos first and here we have a detailed look. So the nickname for them, Big Stage, isn't confirmed. However, they are being called that because they resemble the 2010 release of the Nike Kobe 5, being called Big Stage. Featuring white across the uppers, metallic gold on the back heel, as well as the Nike swoosh, and a gum outsole. They're dropping June 3rd, retail will be 160 In hand, they're not bad, to be honest. I should have a video up later, maybe um, the following day. Also, there is some ostrich-like print that's around the collar, so that's kind of dope too. The Nike Airshake Indestruct will always be linked to Dennis Rodman's days playing for the Chicago Bulls since they did release while he was on the team. But Nike Sportswear will debut a pair that's being labeled Royal Blue that celebrates his time with the Detroit Pistons and the Bad Boy era. Keeping things pretty simple, we have tumbled leather across the uppers done in Royal Blue perforations on the toe and then we have white on the midsole and outsole so there isn't a set release date at this time however they are expected to drop sometime soon once we have more information definitely we'll make sure to update you late last night the nike lebron 14 agimat has leaked and i do apologize if i mispronounced it but here's an excerpt from nike philippines inspired by king james visit to the philippines the LeBron 14 Agimat celebrates the fearless passion of the Pinoy ballers. Agimat is exemplified as a charm that offers good fortune and protection worn for on and off the court battles. There is a continuation of a legacy from one warrior to another. They come in a dark blue and gold color theme, but their symbols used that pays tribute to LeBron James' career as well as his trip to the Philippines. For example, we have a triangle that almost looks like a mountain that pays homage to the terrain of the Philippines and LeBron's relentless climb to peak performance. MNL is also seen, which is a shout out from LeBron to the Ballers of Manila. 330 represents LeBron James' hometown. There's also a fire emblem that symbolizes both the volcanoes in the Philippines and LeBron's intense passion. Last but not least is four stars and that represents King James 4 MVP awards. We also have a special graphic that's used on the liner which is inspired by woven fabrics that are found in the Philippines. As of now, they're set to release exclusively in the Philippines on May 20th. As of now, it's not confirmed if they're gonna drop in the States but it is rumored that they will just a little bit later on. When they do drop, they will be available at Titan Fort, Titan22.com, Nike Park Fort BGC and Nike Park Gloretta 4. Once we have more information, I definitely will make sure to update you. On to Jordan Brand, and yesterday we shared release locations for the Just On Air Jordan 2 Arctic Orange collaboration. If you want to check it out, you can either visit sneakerfiles.com or watch the previous video. But today we have pricing information. So the grade school sizes will be available for $350. Now, if you're wondering about the smaller sizes, they will not cost that much. Preschool will be $200 and toddler will cost you $150. Still a bit pricey for the preschool and toddler as well, um, but 
it's not a bad shoe overall and if i'm able to now i'm probably going to go after a toddler size rather than a 9.5 y hands down the highlight of this video is a first look at the air jordan 11 gym red no matter if you like them or not a lot of us have been waiting on the first look and it's finally has landed a few things you're going to notice one is the patent leather is higher cut just like the space jam release that took place last year and the original release well more importantly the original release from this image i do not see any peaks but more than likely they will be here although they're not like the mellow they are pretty close but the biggest difference is red is used along the liner and then we have black on the jump man they also use mesh across the uppers and if you haven't guessed by now jim red covers the patent leather the mesh and even the leather by the heel. Finishing the look is white on the midsole and a translucent blue tinted outsole. At the time of shooting, they're scheduled to release on December 16th. Now, it's a while away till that date, so it's possible they get pushed forward, pushed back, or moved around. In any case, I will make sure to update you. Retail price will be 220. My thoughts on them. I think they're dope. Um, I like the higher cut patent leather. I just wish the Jumpman was white instead of black i just think i don't know it seems forced but maybe more images will showcase that apparently there's going to be some black detailing on the tongue and on the um two three on the hill i assume it's going to be two three and not 45. i also wanted to mention that the thumbnail used for this video is a photoshop because i feel like now if i don't mention it people think it's a bit misleading and that recaps the news like always we post it first on sneakerfiles.com and then we take it to youtube from this video, what I'm feeling, I do like the Adidas Ultra Boost 4.0. Um, I'm not really a fan of the triple white colorway. I do like that it has a black outsole, but I'm going to wait till more colorways do leak, which I'm sure will happen in the next month, maybe even sooner than that. Who knows? The Nike Air Vapor Max Triple Black. I liked it when I first saw it, and the Air Max Day release, that is. And I missed out on them. I, the, all three colorways on that day sold out like instantly, I believe. So going forward, I do plan on picking them up. The Just On Air Jordan 2 collaboration, I did plan on going after in a 9.5Y to eventually use as trade bait or just to say I own a Just On collaboration because I don't yet, but I'm actually going to go after the toddler size instead. Um, the 150 price tag, it's a little bit high, but I bought my daughter Yeezys, so it's not that much um, more than that. And I honestly think these are more fitting for her rather than the Yeezys. Last but not least is the Air Jordan 11 Gym Red. Personally, I would have liked a white Jumpman on the collar, but maybe with more images and with time, it will grow because it is something new. Maybe that's why I'm just used to the, the mellow PE and the Photoshops that have been floating around. But other than that, I mean, it's the Air Jordan 11. It's done in all red so it's like a must pick up almost at least for me but leave a comment below let me know from this video what you liked what you disliked thanks for watching stay tuned to sneakerfalls.com and if you haven't yet make sure to subscribe